Hello and welcome back to Conservative Change Channel. I'm your host, Tori Mopé, and today we have an exclusive audio track from the Conservative MP for Woking and all sorts of lovely surprises. But first, we're going to cross live to Nadine Dorries for the latest news on her campaign against stalking. <laughs> Why, thank you, Nadine. Insightful as always, sweetheart. And now on to our featured item, an exclusive audio file about a campaign to smear someone as a paedophile. Jonathan Lord, who is not a paedophile, currently the Conservative MP for Woking and formerly the chairman of the Guildford Conservative Association, explains why he didn't do any more than have a few very stern words in private with two candidates who smeared an opponent as a child rapist, something Jonathan Lord is not. We thought that the chambers and call were completely out of order and, that was 2000 uh, and, and beyond control or whatever. Yes. Um, well, I think, well, I think we'd straight into 07 by then, hadn't we? Because yes, we had by then. By the time the police investigation took place, because well, I think by the time you raised it with me, because Chambers was already a candidate. Yes. And if he hadn't been a candidate, then. Aha! Well, uh -huh. I hope you caught that bit. Just in case you didn't, here it is again. I told them, stop being childish. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to do a blog about national politics uh, or even, you know, clean stuff about local policy, yes. that's fine. I said, but cut out any personal stuff. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it. Mm -hmm. I said, it's, you know, it's basically, you know, it's lucky you guys have already been selected because otherwise, you know, and we're in the middle of a campaign now. You may have missed that one too. So here it is one more time. Clear as day. So this is all off the record, OK? In the middle of an election, you know, you don't obviously want to give suck at your opponent or, you know, some, someone, who, someone who, you know, who might twist your words in ways that you have on other little things, yeah. you know. Uh, and do you know what I mean? So, so I was very straight with those guys in, t in telling them to cut it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and if, you know, if we hadn't already been in the middle of an election campaign, uh, and I think they were already both nominated they and were, so on, yeah. you know, then it might have been a slightly different story. See, it's as simple as that. When one of your candidates smears his opponent as a paedophile as part of his campaign, you should take no discernible action against them because they are a candidate and part of your election campaign. After all, it simply wouldn't do to just hand that ammunition to your enemies on a platter now, would it? <laughs> because you never know how something like that will be distorted. No. It's far, far better to let an innocent man get smeared as a child rapist, especially if he's a filthy, dirty liberal. Because, let's face it, they're all a bunch of perverts anyway. Tori, eh? are you doing your show today? Yes, Mother. In fact, we're on the air right now. You promised your brother could join in. You remember our talk about sharing? You remember our talk about sharing? Step, brother, mother... And I said I would think about a strategic You'll coalition. You'll do it, or I'll take that camera back to the shop. Yes, Mother. But can we please do it later? I'm on air right now, and I need You'll to... You'll do it now. I'm not taking him down the shops again. Not after last time. Oh. In BC3 was born a king, and Jesus was his name. Oh, Christ. <laughs> In the next episode of Conservative Change Channel, meet our new lineup of presenters Billy Britt, Niggers, Dougal Blimey, Leftist Nazi, Token Liberal, B and Sonny Reader. Tits. Plus, more from Tori Mupe, an exclusive interview with Jeremy Hunt, and the lovely Nadine Dorries in a touching photo essay titled What I Got for Christmas. <laughs>